What's poppin' YouTube? Uh, Crazy Kiduck here, and welcome back to another Crash Team Rumble video. And in today's video, we are gonna keep the party going, and we are gonna showcase the new game modes Get Lit and What's Cooking. Let's get into it. So, it looks like our team is gonna be kitted out with a cat bat. I'm gonna rock Cortex. We have a Crash. And we have a Coco. In hindsight, I think for this game of specifically, Catbat is probably the best. But Cortex and Coco are not bad either. They can zip around the map really quick with the dash and their jumps. So it's not the end of the world. We're feeling confident. We're feeling good. Hopefully, we can go and get a W and not be sad boys if we lose. Get Lit released with Season 2 on September 12th with the rest of the party modes. This minigame requires you to light X number of torches in a lot of time throughout multiple waves and a boss wave. In round 1, as you can see, in 60 seconds you have to light 90 torches. And eventually it gets harder and harder as you go on. And if you collect all the tokens and complete the objectives, there is a boss wave available. Now, to light the torches, you have to go over to the bonfire to get litty litty. Once lit, you go ham and light as many torches as you can before your flame extinguishes. When it does happen to extinguish, you have to go back to the bonfire to reignite it or you have to find a nearby teammate that is already litty litty to reignite your candle. There are other bonfires around the map that you can light to keep your momentum going. I think one of the better strategies is to have three guys try and go for the objective, but one guy collects clocks, increasing the amount of time you have. However, this might not be viable for lack of game chat for solo players. The hope is, the longer this mode is out, the more people know what's what, and help rather than hinder the team. Let me tell you, I have had plenty of teammates who have no idea what they're doing, and unfortunately, we end up ultimately losing. At the end of the day, it's just a laid back mode where you can have fun, not really worry too much, although it can get frustrating trying to knock out the boss fights or trying to ma max out the XP for the battle pass. The best characters for this mode <clears throat> are Cortex, Coco, Tana, and Catbat. These heroes have the best mobility which is key in a mode where you're pressed for time. Our team, myself included, really dropped the ball in round two. After such a strong start to round one, we were just, I don't know, we were out of sync, discombobulated, I don't know if we got nervous or what, but it was just, it was not a good round, and that was our biggest mistake, trying to go for that bonfire instead of those torches that were across from us. And we wasted so much time, and we see our teammate over there that wasn't getting lit, going to trying to get the torches, and that kind of sums up how this wave went for us. As, you know, we even though we bought some time there, it wasn't worth it. We, we, we light one torch and we go back out. At least we got another clock. And this time, we're going to try and go back for that bonfire. And we should, fingers crossed, be able to light it. And hopefully buy us enough time to go and get the remaining torches. Now, I don't know what our team was doing, but nobody hit this spot. Look at all these torches that are unlit. Not one of our teammates went over here. I don't know if that's just lack of experience of nobody <clears throat> not knowing really where to go. And it looks like we're going to get it. And we don't. We missed the jump and choked like Kirk Cousins on prime time. That was it. We had it in the bag and we missed a huge opportunity. Even though we missed the jump at the end that would have put us to the next round, we pulled our weight. We let our team in torches and clocks, so I think we did our part, even though at the end of the day we were the reason why we didn't move on. We take the loss and on to the next one. Let's do it, let's do it up. On to what's cooking, good looking. Forget cooking, well, you simply, you get cooking. It's just as the name suggests. You have a pot which requires a certain number of ingredients. As you progress, the ingredients will become more complex, and you throw them in the pot. And once you have a very, very long radius, you can hell marry it across map in most cases. I found this mode to be the most difficult of all the minigames. 
especially when it comes to the later waves where specific items only spawn in certain areas. Get cooking is the outlier when it comes to heroes. Even though I'm playing Cortex in this match, I found the best hero to use is the one, the only, everyone's favorite thick boy, Dingo Dial. The reason I say this is because you can use his vacuum to suck up the ingredients. This is especially helpful for the fish, but we'll get to that. In round one, you need 14 ingredients and they're all mushrooms, so it makes it pretty basic. It's pretty straightforward, but you can find mushrooms pretty easily, and the pot doesn't move, it stays stationary. Wave one is very easy. As we led our troops with seven ingredients and one clock, on to wave number two. Mushrooms stuffed lizards. So this one is going to require mushrooms and lizards. This is where it gets kind of tricky, because lizards only spawn in that corner over there. You can kind of see it to the side. So we have to go and the pot is in that far corner. As you can see it requires mushrooms and then we need to go get lizards. In this gameplay I wasn't really too sure where they were and I just see the dink go down in the corner and he's, he's tossing them in and you can see those holes. That's where they come out of. That's where they spawn and you need 16 ingredients. So even though it's not that complex, it does get tricky, you know, especially if nobody knows what's what, but see the Dingo Dial's camping over there, that is ideal, and you can see we do have a pretty long radius, we were able to sit there, we get the clock, we get the mushroom, and life is good. So Dingo Dial's taking care of the lizards, we're taking care of the mushrooms, and we just need one more wave two in the books. And, uh, this time our teammate the dingo dial took over that's why the dingo dial i think is the best you can just see him just go in there with his vacuum and go ham so we have 18 ingredients and 40 seconds and we need bananas and fish this is where it gets kind of tricky because the fish are only hop out of the water you can see there's two spots there and there's a spot over on the other side so with, what I mean with Dingo Dial is you can sit literally where the fish pop up and just suck them up rather than trying to time your jumps. That is the easiest way to do it. And we're just going to work on the bananas and there's Ripper Root. But yeah, I wish we had another Dingo Dial or we were Dingo Dial. We might have had a little bit more success. As you can see, instead of trying to time the jumps, we could have used our vacuum here and we would have been golden. It would have been cash money. But lack of experience, you know, knowledge is power. We did not have the knowledge. We were powerless. But for future reference, now we know. And so you guys know. I'm sure by the time this video comes out, you'll know anyway. Just a heads up. And we died. <sighs> we are dropping the ball again. Our one team is doing good with 18. We only got 14. And the other two, who knows what they're doing. They're in their own little world. And we try and buy our team more time, but I don't think it's going to matter. I really don't. And, oh, just in the nick of time, that guy. And we just get more clocks. Well, it's a good thing we're getting clocks because we're not getting a whole lot of ingredients. And, man, oh man, every time it looks like we're going to fail, we get more clocks. And that time we did fail. So, that was Get Cooking. I, I think this is the most difficult one of all the party games. Simply because, you know, the fish and the lizards... And as you can see, I got 14, my teammate got 19, then it was 7 and 1. So, two of us pulled their weight, two didn't. This has been Crash Team Rumble. Thanks for watching.